Welcome to Connect with Christina. We are in season three. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what a better way to start. Um, no better way to start than having this lovely lady here with us. Everyone in Arizona, you have to watch out for this lady. Danielle Butler with the... The Records Company. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. It's so nice to be here. So glad to be back in Phoenix. Yes. Yes. Wait, where are you... Tell everyone where you're originally from, actually. Well, I'm actually based out of Atlanta, so I'm on the East Coast, but everybody else at the records company is based in Hamilton, Ohio. So I'm excited about um, this company, especially for the personal injury space. Um, so we can today we get to know what this company is about. So I'll start with that. What is the records company? So the records company is a legal record and billing retrieval firm. So this is a firm put in place for, like you said, PI firms. Um, We also assess medical providers, independent medical examiners, insurance companies. But we are particularly effective with law firms, and we are able to essentially come in and incorporate with their existing processes and help make their offices run more efficiently. Especially right now with the... Thing going on everywhere where it's been difficult to find help. Yes. Yes, we were speaking before the podcast and she said, you know, it's so bad in Phoenix. Nobody wants to work and nobody can find good help. And I said, no, it's everywhere. Um, you know, I, I just got back from Montana and they were having the same struggle. They're having the same problem in Florida. It's a nationwide issue. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. So you have to find a way to make your business impenetrable and impervious to these ongoing issues. But let's break it down. So explain really the gist of the company again. So basically, this is a service that is a 100% case recoverable, which completely changes the game for a law firm. So they're able to come in, use our services as needed, get records, bills, any kinds of records and reports they would need to get their litigation cases processed. And instead of the people in their offices wasting countless hours doing this and you know them paying them for that and not being able to recover that cost, they essentially are able to set the request and forget it, worry about the in-office processes. And our team focuses on all these requests, meaning they're going to get processed much quicker and your office is just going to be ready and waiting. So we're able to assist the existing staff, but also increase case turnaround, get those moving faster. And as you grow, you don't have to worry about ongoing hiring. You know, you've got us there to back you up. Yeah. And and I was thinking too, that for some offices that do have amazing teams Mm -hmm. and staff, that this is something you could add. Oh, yes. As a supplement. Oh, yes. Or in situations where, you know, um, you have to support your team who's having a baby, Mm -hmm. maybe some illnesses, Mm -hmm. you know. Oh, yeah. I always tell people we are not in the industry of getting rid of positions. I mean, I know so many hardworking paralegals and case managers. We all know if we took this records retrieval off of their plates, there are still a million other things that need to be done in a law firm. So this is a simple way to make them more efficient in their job. Because, you know, the harsh reality of it, whether anyone in an office wants to say it or not, record retrieval is not a paralegal task. And it really doesn't make sense to be paying your in-office staff to be spending countless hours on this when they can't even efficiently recover these records. So, you know, you're just bogging them down. And that kind of digs into the ongoing turnover and the the staffing struggles. So if you've got a great team, you want to empower them and keep them, you know, and and help them be better at their job. So I'm thinking with this this, um, company being in place, it really does affect, like, our clients getting their cases to move forward. It does. Because a lot of times it takes so long to get these bills and records you know, I mean, I will not say the name, but there's some that take like nine months right now, you know. So that said, do you guys have a relationship with these um, providers or hospitals or urgent cares that you're getting them faster? Well, we're nationwide. So what's great about that service is if you have providers that you work with directly and you have, you know, connections with them, you can keep those relationships we deal with providers across the country. So you don't have to deal with those other third-party vendors anymore. I won't name any of them specifically. (laughs) Um, But you just put in what provider you need and what records you want, and they do the rest of the work. And like you said, because they're able to diligently follow up on that every week, 
as opposed to someone in the office that surely has good intentions of following up, but you know, you walk in and there's five fires to put out every day. So they get bogged down. We all know what that is. <laughs> all of us. I mean, that's the reality of it, you know. So this is a way to make sure that when someone takes a walk, everything keeps moving. When someone goes on vacation, everything keeps moving. Um, and, you know, your clients benefit from that because they get frustrated when, you know, you tell them you're still waiting on medical records and you're still waiting on bills. Um, they don't understand what all is involved in that process. So they can't even really understand what you're trying to do, they just know it's taking too long. And so if you're able to settle their case six months faster, they're going to go tell the world about it, you know. And from the business model perspective, if there's only 50000 in liability or 100000 in liability and that's all there is, the faster you can get that case resolved and move on to the next, the happier the client's going to be, the happier the attorney's going to be, the happier the staff's going to be, and you can move on to the next. I like that. This is, um, you said, case recoverable, right? So can you explain that a little further? Plus the tax deductions. Right. Benefit. Tax deductible as well. This, I mean, I was the ultimate skeptic about services like this because I had worked in legal for over 15 years. Um, And it is, you know, there's not a lot we can outsource in what we do. You know that. A lot of times you try to hand off a task and you wish you could just immediately take it back because you just made a bigger mess for yourself. But for me personally... This has changed the game for me because not only am I not having to deal with following up on records every week for all these different cases, I'm also able to focus on the clients and the more important tasks. And I'm also not dealing with um, billing disputes from all these third-party vendors. I mean, when we talk to in-office staff and accountants and uh, accounts payables, they all talk about how many hours they spend disputing these invoices and sitting on hold with these third-party vendors. And I mean, at the end of the day, you're draining resources. And yet, it's definitely frustrating. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For everyone. Right. So, again, so this is something, you know, the cost for this. And are you allowed to say how much it is? Yeah. So there's a standard flat rate. Um, we offer a standard flat rate per request that doesn't ever change whether you want certification. Um, and we also offer custom rates based on volume. So I always tell people, give me a call. I'll let you know the best rate I can offer you. Um, and we're super competitive. But what changes the game about this is that... And adi- you know, if you hire someone in the office, you've got to pay them their hourly rate. You've got to give them insurance. You've got to get them an office space. You've got to get them a computer. You've got to train them. You've got to hope they show up after you train them. Um, and you've got to hope that they don't come in and mess up that office dynamic, right? Um, so we say this service doesn't talk back and it doesn't call in sick. It just does what you ask. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and that really, I mean, that's what we need in a law firm. We don't need, you know, an added variable that's going to complicate things. We need something that's going to help streamline the process as we've already got in place. And to be able to do that and recover the cost at 100%, there's nothing else like that. If that you sounds hire like someone, a no-brainer to yeah. me. I mean, I think I was telling you, when I was here last time, I met with an attorney that has several offices, and he let me know that he had spent approximately $90,000 last year trying to keep three paralegal positions filled. And by February of this year, two of them were still empty, and he had spent all of that money, and all of his cases had just sat because of all that turnover. And so when we talked about this service, like you said, it's a no-brainer. It was like, if this had been in place, at least all of those requests and tasks would have continued to move right exactly yeah and then the tax benefit one more time Mm -hmm. tax deductible for the business so you know you're fronting that cost but you're going to get it back so you're you're fronting the flat rate plus the provider cost that you're already going to pay for when you do these requests so it's tax deductible for the business you're going to front that cost just like you would with your medical records costs um but when we train and implement your cl- your team, we're going to make sure they understand that all of these invoices have to get put into that case file. They all have to get recovered. So you're going to make sure that they get recovered at 100%. And so in addition to being a tax deduction, you also get those funds back on the back end. I just really can't believe that part. Yeah. Honestly, that's yeah. the no-brainer part. You get the money back. Mm-hmm. If there's tax benefits and you, are a, you become really a, a, a solid, proactive, well-oiled machine powerhouse yeah it changes the game completely and I feel like there's room for your services in all like across the board yeah because again if you have us you know people that are, are sick or on maternity leave or you took a bunch of cases mm-hmm. 
good job. Um, <laughs> congratulations. You had Christina we, on it. We she love won. helping. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's like you can really move the cases along, right? Right. right. Be- yeah. And the beautiful thing about it is you're not going to have to change the old processes. You're not going to have to have your clients go back and re-sign anything. You know, you, you can get old cases moving and new cases moving as they come in. So you're kind of closing that gap. And we also offer expediting services. So, you know, when you're in the middle of a deposition and you learn about this provider that nobody's mentioned before, it's a non-emergency. You know, you just put it through with a little extra urgency. Okay, and I have a lot more questions for you, including the fact that you said all, also records from medical. So um, the process, let's say that someone wants to get started. What do they need to do? It's super easy. So we do all the ongoing training, which is a benefit for the firms, you know, with these turnover issues. If you have new staff, you just send them to me. You know, you tell them to call me. I do a demo. I make sure they know how to use the service. Um, Registering is really easy. The things the attorneys love, there are no contracts. There are no registration fees. No contracts. None. There are no registration fees. So if you have eight girls in your office and you want me to give you all of them an account, we can do that. If you have 20 offices and you just want, which we just did for a a team that has 23 offices, we did one account for their Texas team. We did another account for their Phoenix team and another account for their Florida team. So we can customize it based on how you're set up and how you plan to grow. And then once you register, you just return the letter of rep um, saying that we have the right to get records on your behalf. And then once you do that and your team's been trained, off they go to the races. And it's such an easy, simple process. They're not going to do cover letters anymore. They're not going to do fact sheets anymore. Oh, wow. But, yeah, they're not going to have to know if a third-party vendor is even used. Um, and that's another nice thing when they go to get hospital records. They're not going to have to know what entities handle the radiology billing or the ER physician's billing. That's huge. Yeah, because it changes a lot, and it's been changing more frequently mm-hmm. Since this pandemic, I feel like. Have you noticed that? Yes. They change vendors more frequently. And it's a lot to keep up with. No, a a lot. It's just time consuming. I mean, there's times where you're on hold for so long. I mean, not even exaggerating, but you're just putting them on hold, taking calls, putting them on hold, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's exhausting. Realistically, though, how much faster can you get these bills compared to, you know, how we do things now. Yeah. So in my experience and based on all the feedback we've gotten from all the teams we work with, I mean, this can take, I say, and I I always get confirmation in every office, one request can take on average four to six hours. Think about this. They have to do cover letters. They've got to refax it eight times until somebody finally confirms receipt. They've got to resend it. And and you call them and say, did you get it? (laughs) You, I got your fax confirmation sheet, and they still say, no, I didn't get it. I need you to resend it. And you have to follow up every week. And if you don't, it can take six months, like you said, or nine months, not for lack of effort, but because there's a million other things to do, and they want to call every week, and, and you know, before you know it, it's Thursday, and they haven't had a chance to do any of that. So when you come through the portal, they're following up every week, and you're getting email updates, so you know exactly what's going on with your request, and you're going to start getting records in three to six weeks instead of three to six months, and some of the hospital stuff comes in faster, so you're really going to be moving at a much faster pace, and you're going to be able to have those demands ready and have the complaints ready, and the discovery is going to go together much cleaner, um, and it's going to kind of save little minutes everywhere all across the firm. So... For me, the client's always in the, in the middle, right, mm-hmm. the center. So this is why I like this because I'm thinking, you know, these people that have already gone through a lot, through trauma, through physical pain, mental pain, even financial pain, that you have this obligation to, to really be there and help move things along for them. Mm-hmm. So when you guys collect all the bills, what does it look like when you Start the first one to the last one. Do you send it all at once, like a bulk? Like, what does that look like? No, so you're able to pick and choose what you want. And so you go into the portal, you make your selections, you put in your provider, your date ranges, if you want your records certified or not. And then all you have to do is upload the authorization signed by your client. You don't have to fill it out anymore. It's just a blank signed form because the AI technology in the portal is going to calculate that information for you. Because like we said, you might request from a hospital and you might want radiology billing, but you don't know who does that. So you just come in and put in the hospital, select radiology billing, and we do the rest of the work. Um, So then you can put in all the providers for that patient up to 10, and then you put the client's information in one time. So that's going to be stored in there for you if you come back to do supplemental records, and you're going to get email updates immediately, 
every week on every request. And the real, the real benefit for everybody in the office is once you're fully implemented into this portal, they're going to be able to come into their pending requests at any point, type in the client's name or the provider name, and it's going to pull up every request they've done for them. And it's even better when you settle a case and you get to come in and type in that name and make sure all those have been recovered. And if there are any that are outstanding, cancel them, get those costs into the file. Nothing gets missed, nothing gets lost, you know, and you were able to get that settled because everything came together clean. They got that demand and they could tell you weren't playing, you know, you were ready to go. And as a whole, how much faster do you think the case can get? start, you know, started with the demands and get settled? I mean, I think that I would say on average cases probably settle about six months faster. That's a lot. It is. And, you know, clients get frustrated. Like we said, they get frustrated when you can't get their records for them. And we do, you know, medical canvassing and medical lien searches as well. And they get frustrated on that side as well when you get the case settled and you, you can't give them their money because you can't get the case all settled out with all the lien holders. So, you know, the goal is to benefit everybody, like you said, is to benefit the attorney so they're not working so hard for their cut, to benefit the staff so they're not burning on both ends and, you know, trying to keep all of this stuff moving and they're not able to even do it efficiently. The and then doctors. you're helping the client, right? Yeah. And the doctors too. Oh, yes. Um, so I'm curious. I know you have multiple states or you're nationwide. Like, give me an example of the smallest, um, I guess, account us to the big ones what i love about this is that it works for everyone Um, you really just have to trust the system and give it an opportunity i mean i have worked with little boutique firms that are hungry attorneys that you know don't want a lot of staff and they don't want a lot of overhead and they're able to manage everything with just a pretty basic skeleton crew and an incredible caseload by implementing this service but then we've also got you know, nationwide offices that have 20, 30 locations. And as I said, we're not in the business of getting rid of staff, but, you know, when people went home and didn't want to come back to work, the cases had to keep moving, right? So we were there to step in. And, you know, a lot of firms realized we've got 20 people in this medical records department that now we don't have 20 people, we've got eight. Well, eight can manage this. Eight can run this, and they can manage all of those cases just like 20 could more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be able to recover all those extra costs. And then it just really changes the entire game for everyone. You know, and we talked about this. I mean, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. If our industry is changing and it's never going to be the same, which it is, why would we continue to do things the way we've always done them? You know, it's evolving and we've got to find a way to get ahead of this bottlenecking problem that's plaguing firms everywhere. So would, I know, like I said, you take on a lot. So you have enough staff to take on more, like take on Arizona. Oh, yeah. Like, because some firms have like, what if they said, okay, Danielle, let's go. Here's a, here's a hundred. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yep. That's what I tell everyone because, you know, we can show you what we can do with a couple of cases, but, you know, we can really show you what we can do if you throw them all at us and let us manage them. Um, you know, we're able to really match people you know your paralegals in the office they can match us one for one that's not the problem you know they're they're managing a hundred caseload and if that's that's all their burden then each of those clients has between five and twenty medical providers that becomes a very tumultuous task you know and they're spending entire days sitting on the phone it doesn't work for anyone you know especially because for for what we do it's so important to be able to really touch the clients and talk to them and be there for them when they need you most right but you can't do that if you're sitting on hold with right one of those vendors one right. of those vendors one of those vendors <laughs> the bane of our existence <laughs> well and, and honestly think about how many times a file will sit there for so long because it's waiting on, on one just thing. one on one thing right one thing and the client's so frustrated they don't understand what the hold up is you know, it, um, and it, like I said, when you really implement the process and streamline your processes, the people in your office know when we set up a case file and we've got these providers, we put them through the portal. Um, when they get done with treatment, we come in and put the others through the portal. You start really working in a very efficient, aggressive mode. Like I said, through this pandemic, there were a lot of firms that were sitting on their hands and they said that nothing could be done. But then there were a lot of firms that were getting cases settled and they were showing people how to do it. You know, if if you want to get the work done, there are some really great processes that can help you keep all of these things moving and not have you at the mercy of these staffing fluctuations and all that, because it's nationwide. It's everywhere. When I feel like, 
You're always going to have personal issues. Right. That's oh, why yeah. I'm saying that I like how there's no contract and you really, if somebody right now said, I'm going to just try it out and give you, you know, so many. Bring it on. I mean, we have firms that submit hundreds of requests a, a week. We've got firms, you know, that come in and they put the requests in and they're maybe boutique. They don't need us in that volume. Obviously, if you've got more volume, we're going to be able to show you more of what we can do and we're going to be able to offer you a better rate, you know, based on the the relationship that we build with you because that's the beautiful thing about the service is they're in the trenches with you. You're going to get familiar with your team. You're going to get familiar with the names of the people working on your cases. And if you call, you're going to talk to somebody that can actually help you. I mean, like I said, being in legal for over 15 years, I, I was kind of the ultimate skeptic. Like I had I had tried some other vendors. I wasn't particularly impressed. Um, but what do we say? We don't like to talk about it. We like to be about it. And when you find something that, that really sets the standard and does what it's intended to do, like we said, it changes the process completely. I mean, I think it's great. Just you already had me at the, you know, it – that you can get it back. Right. And the tax benefits. But on top of that, the reality is I think there's a space for you everywhere. You know, I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, even if, say, you have a full staff, but then you wanted to um, take the time to go give back to them and, like, train them for, like, you know, maybe a few days and touch on fundamentals of the office. You can do that because now you can say, hey, to a lot for this time. Right. Let's go throw Danielle, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, there's just so many things that's popping in my head. But also, like you said earlier, a lot of our strong men and women in PI are very, you know, much involved and busy and hardworking, Mm -hmm. and they already have, you know, software that they use. So is your portal another thing that's complicated, or is it pretty easy? It's super, super easy, and it's going to eliminate some of the other websites and portals that they're currently having to use so you won't unless you choose to you won't have to use any of those other third-party vendors like for ems um, for the hospitals you can put everything through the records company portal so you won't have to know if they use a third-party vendor and like i said that really helps when it comes to disputing invoices i mean i'm talking to firms that spend hours on the phone dealing with these third-party vendors and these duplicate invoices and battling, you know, let us take that burden. And then this, like I said, when we train, this is all one fluid system. So there's a card on file for the firm. When the records and bills, when the invoice comes in, we front the cost out of our account. So they don't have to pay the, the cost for the records up front. We do that. And then when the bills and records come in, they go into the requester's email, downloadable PDF. They can put it right in the file. And the invoice is right there on top. So all they have to do, that's the day it's billed to the card, and all they have to do is put it in their case file, make sure it gets in case expenses, and it pays for itself. I want to know who came up with this company. A, a brilliant paralegal <laughs> mind, or three. Or <laughs> they, were all, they all did this work, and they saw there was a need for it. And I, and I tell people all the time, and they agree when you go into the portal, it's so easy to navigate. I can do Because like, they knew what it was exactly. like. Exactly. It serves its purpose. You cannot get lost in there. And how long has, has uh, the records company been in business? So it's over 10 years old. And what I love about them is everyone is in Hamilton, Ohio. So they don't outsource. When you call, you're going to get someone in our office, and they're going to be able to actually help you. They're going to be able to pull up your requests and answer your questions. Um, and a lot of people in our team have been there for quite some time. They're all really good. And like I said, they're they're broken up demographically. So you're going to get familiar with the people working on your request. Phoenix has a whole team, and they're ready for you guys. So, like, specific. <laughs> but And yes. then for, you said earlier, you would also train them for the portal. Are you also the go-to, or is there more people? There are several others, but what I like is they have me to call. Um, when they get a new hire, they can say, call Danielle. She'll give, a, give you a demo. Because, you know, we want them to succeed. We don't want them to go in there and start clicking around and not know what they're doing. We want to show them how it works and how it's meant to help them. So I like that, you know, there's a cheat sheet, there's a training guide. We provide all that when you register. But also you can call us if you have questions. And if you have a new person, we'll hold their hand and show them how it works and they know they can call us as well. Okay. Now on the medical side, Mm -hmm. which was new to me, how can you possibly help them? And, so, and also when I say them, who's them? So them, the medical providers. So we're on both sides of this, of this platform, basically. Um, you know, the law firms need these records and bills. And, of course, the medical providers have a duty to complete requests that are submitted. 
But as all of us know, we wouldn't be having this podcast if this wasn't an issue. These providers are bogged down as well. They're having staffing. Busy. Yeah, they're having staffing problems. They can't keep up with the volume. And, you know, they're a little different because they have a legal obligation. If you don't respond to these requests in 30 days, you have attorneys barking at your door, you know, and telling you they're going to subpoena you. And, uh, you know, so it it's a different burden. But we're able to help both sides of it. And, of course, you know, the more medical providers we work with, the easier the segue between both of them. So there's no conflict? No, no, no. We're able to help with their requests as well, the medical providers. And in a lot of cases, depending on the types of requests they get, we're able to offset the costs. So same concept. You know, it's a need they have, and their staff is bogged down as well. So our team is able to basically build a bridge, and when those requests come through, we're able to handle them on behalf of the provider as well. I think you are definitely a company that's needed out here in Arizona and, I guess, nationwide, so everywhere. But wrap it up for us in the sense of who really um, qualifies for this to use this program and take advantage of it. Right. I think that this is best served for law firms that are serious, you know, law firms that have an intention to grow, um, they want specific processes, and they want everything to be streamlined for their staff. I think that this is empowerment for a team, but it's also a way to empower yourself and your your business model um, and become, you know, inflation-proof and staffing problem-proof and, you know, really set yourself into a position so that you can fo- focus on the legal things and grow your business, and you're not going to have to worry about ongoing hiring. So I think that if firms are really ready to take a look at the processes they have, and really move forward um, with a different model, knowing that they're going to get that money back. And as they grow, this is going to speed up the process for them as a whole. I think those are the firms that are ready for this. And before we say goodbye, tell me some of the questions or objections you get a lot. I don't really get objections. I mean, there's obviously a need. Everyone always knows there's a need. Um, You know, it's just trying to understand the best way to implement it, really, and the most successful way to implement it. And for me, I think that what's most important in that is that there's accountability, right? We get them properly trained. They know how this works. They know how to do it. Um, They know they can contact, contact us with questions. But they also understand, the staff understands their key role in recovering this cost because that like you said, that changes the game completely. I mean, there's nothing else out there that has this. There's nothing else out there that you can recover. And if it's properly done, if it's effectively done and properly done, I mean, firms can grow exponentially at virtually zero cost. So I told her earlier, even in a grocery store, I prefer a cashier over, you know, the whatever, self-serving machine thingy, whatever that's called. But there's some points where that is a lot faster when you're just there with one thing and you want to get out, right? Right. So um, I'm losing my thought process. Well, we talked about this, and I told you when we talked about this that I think this is one of those platforms or or sections of business where – you can totally outsource it, and it's going to help you tremendously. And where where do you want to keep the the human interaction with the receptionist, with your paralegal? Your paralegals are going to be able to talk to your your clients, and they're going to have more significant updates too. It's going to be, you know, they can come into this portal and essentially give updates as if they had done all this legwork and follow up themselves. And that's going to, you know, and you get your money back, and, and that's it's gonna, tax right. deductible, right? And I, I'm coming from a place of saying that because, like. As you said earlier, we do have a lot of amazing, talented, hardworking people. So I want it to be so clear that this company is not here to take jobs. Oh, it's no. here to actually support you guys. It is. Paralegals need help. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm the voice of my people. I've been doing this work for a long time. And record retrieval is not a paralegal task. You don't even want it to be, you know. They are so better educated and equipped to do much more efficient tasks and complicated tasks. And even if they're just dealing with the client, like you said, the clients feel that. They feel that things are moving more efficiently. They feel like they matter. And, you know, we talked about marketing and how marketing goes all the way through a case. You know, if you pick up this client and they're in pain and you take care of them and then you get all the way to settlement and they're not happy because they don't feel like they were valued or they don't feel like they were taken care of, 
then have you, did you really win? Because you want somebody that's going to go scream your name, you know, off the rooftops, like this firm did a great job for me. And then that growth is going to come. So this is going to help that goal. So for anyone and everyone who wants to try this out, how do they get a hold of you? You can go directly to the website. You can ask for a demo. We're going to have my contact information up. You can look me up on Insta, the Legal Vagabond at the Records Co. Um, we're going to be hanging out. I like out. that handle. Say it again. The Legal Vagabond. And, and why is that your handle? Because I am here, there, and everywhere. The little legal nomad out saving the world. <laughs> <laughs> One office at a time. <laughs> Well, it sounds like you're ready for Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, I have lots of meetings out here. Like I told you, the need is everywhere. Staffing struggles are everywhere. If we can help you guys, call us. We would love to. Yeah. So think about you as a friend in the industry. For sure. Basically. We are in the trenches with you, meant to help make you better, yeah. you and your whole team. Danielle, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Flying, going through delayed flights to get here. <laughs> the stars did have to all align for us to be here today <laughs> well thank you for being here at connect with christina aka the clout god wow you told me to sing girl yeah. <laughs> it's a cut